This is her 20th uh, win overall, her eighth win this season, matching, or actually now takes the record as the most wins in a single season for a female racer in NHRA history. And it is your first win here at the Texas Motorplex in your home state of Texas. So we'll also talk about a bunch of other stuff here, but let's let's start off with the with the performance end of the car this weekend and the performance end of you as a driver and some of the interesting things that were happening on the starting line in the rounds of competition today. Sure. So where do I start? Um, I've been racing here at the Motorplex since I was eight years old in 92, and prior to that I grew up watching my dad race here and in Houston, being that we're only four hours from here. So this place definitely holds a, a special place in my heart. Um, you know, I've wanted a cowboy hat and a brick for a really long time, and we were able to finally get it done today. You know, it was very interesting competition, the way that the ladder fell that Greg and Chris had to run each other first round, being that they were second and third in points. and just trailing me by 70 and 100 each. So, um, you know, that was very interesting to watch. They were the pair in front of me. So when I saw Chris beat Greg on a whole shot, I was excited because Greg was right behind me. But then second round, I had to race Chris, who was right behind Greg. And, uh, you know, there's been a lot of crap talking going on in the pits from those guys. And, you know, I just we just decided to rise above it and let the scoreboard do our talking. So you can bet your butt that when I went up there that there was a little bit of extra want for that round win just because of what's being said. So. Um, and then to make matters worse, he goes up there and double bulbs me. So that kind of pissed me off a little bit and uh, allowed me to be 008 on the tree. So um, we were able to send them packing, which was a huge round for us. And then after that, it, it just became, you know, fun again. You know, it, it's always fun. I didn't mean to say that, but, you know, it takes a little bit of the pressure off. You can take a little bit of a breath and just enjoy the rest of our day. And, you know, it showed in my performance, actually. You know, I knew I missed the tree in the semis. And I knew I really missed it in the finals when I unclutched it. And I was like, man, come on, elite performance horsepower. And thankfully, we, we were able to get around Jonathan down there just by two thou. But that's not typical of me on the starting line. And I'll get my act together and be back in Vegas. You know, there is palpable tension, and not, not just amongst your between your team and other teams, but everybody. You know, yeah. there was a time when you kind of could figure out who was in the cahoots with who. But now it is a lot of tension. Has that, has that caused not only your level, but all the other teams to kind of rise? I mean, is it is that tension causing increased performance, if not on the starting line and on all aspects, I guess, of the teams? Yeah, I think that there's a, a little bit of animosity between a lot of teams out there, but that's just natural with competition. And, and it's more than just winning and losing here. It's more than just points. It's, it's our livelihoods. I mean, we pour our blood, sweat, and tears into this. It costs a lot of money. We're, we're on the road 300 days a year, away from our families. So it's it's all about business when you when it boils down to it. So tempers get heated sometimes, but at the end of the day, you know, my team owner has done such a great job, um, you know, keeping our focus uh, to what we want it to be. All about, all about positive things and having fun. And that's first and foremost with us. And I think that that's what honestly causes a little bit of the animosity from the other side because they see how much fun we have together not only do i have the best guys in the business uh you know richard's recruited quite a quite a um, a list of people and it's so awesome and such a blessing to be their driver but um you know i, I guess that makes a lot of people mad and um we're just going to keep having fun and, and keep doing our best you know we keep god first and and uh let our scoreboard do the talking questions did this kind of follow the uh, plot point of your uh Disney movie? <laughs> I don't know. It's been a while since the Disney movie, but um, you know, a lot of fans still watch it. It still plays. So I get the the one generation that I grew up with that watched it, and now you know a whole younger generation as well. So I get a lot of kids at the ropes that talk about the movie. But it's it's really neat to see just how everything played out because I didn't I didn't have a real easy road through pro stock, and most of you know that it's it's been way more valleys than there have been peaks and. Um, a lot of a lot of issues throughout the years, but um, you know I just stuck with it and had a no quit attitude, and, and finally got surrounded by the right people, and that's why we're having the success that we're having. So it would be a cool sequel. I don't know if we're uh, suitable for the Disney Channel anymore with the guys that I work with, but um, you know they're it's all in good fun, and, and we have a blast together. So what exactly is being set up in the garage? <laughs> It's really not worth talking about. You know, it's uh, you know, it's high school. I, I say and it's right, like high school with money. It's crazy, but um, we we don't have time for it. You know, I don't have time for it. My guys don't have time for it. So they can they can talk all of they all that they want. We'll just continue to work hard. When they're talking about us, we're working. So that we'll leave it at that and um, just keep plowing away. When when did the tone change? Because last year you were kind of like everybody's sentimental favorite thing. Now they're throwing darts at you and whatnot. Too much winning. Oh, they are. 
<laughs> uh, no, I mean, it, it's it's an interesting line to walk, I guess. I mean, it's been a tough road, like I said, but, um, you know, I guess we gained the underdog status there for a few years, and now that we've proven ourselves and we were able to win the championship last year, it's definitely uh, different to be chased rather than to chase. So, um, And we've, as a team, tried to just focus on one round, one at a time, not getting ahead of ourselves and having fun. and and not really focusing on who's in the other lane and what's going on. So, um, you know, we just we just do our best and have fun. I don't really care if they throw darts at me or, or wave their pom-poms. It's, we get to do what we love for a living and it's uh, a true blessing.